In this video, I want to answer the question, what are project benefits? Benefits are measurable improvements that are the outcome of changes that your project makes that are perceived as positive by your stakeholders. So, products or deliverables are the tangible or experiential outputs that your project creates. But your hope is that these will lead to changes in the world. Those changes are your outcomes. And if those changes are measurable improvements, and they are perceived as positive by your stakeholders, then we call them benefits. Benefits can be financial or they can be non-financial. And if they're not financial, they can be tangible in the sense that it is easy to measure them, or they can be intangible, in which case the measurements we're able to make tend to be very imprecise. Financial benefits include things like cost reduction, or increases in the revenue you're able to generate, or bringing forward your revenue so that you achieve a cash flow advantage. Non-financial benefits include increased customer satisfaction, compliance with regulation or legislation, improved customer care, or increases in staff morale that might lead to decreases in staff turnover or absence. When we refer to a net benefit, we're talking about the difference between the total benefit achieved and the total cost that we've invested to achieve that benefit. You could argue that the first measure of a project success is whether the net benefit is positive. And the ultimate measure of a project success is whether the net benefit is as projected or even higher. Some benefits are planned benefits. They're the ones that we expect to achieve. Others are what we refer to as emergent benefits. They emerge as a result of the things the project has done, but that we hadn't planned for, and therefore perhaps we didn't expect. And the other important term that goes along with benefits is disbenefits. If the outcome has negative consequences, if stakeholders perceive that the outcome is not positive, then it is a disbenefit. Disbenefits work exactly the same way as benefits, just with a negative sign in front of them. So benefits are outcomes from our project that stakeholders really value. And because of that, surely benefits management must be one of the most important aspects of project management. So it's perhaps surprising that it receives very little or no mention in all of the great current project management methodologies. The sixth edition of the PMBOK guide, the seventh edition of the APM body of knowledge, and the PRINCE2 manual. I want to put that right, and so I've created a project benefits management course. And that course is on special launch offer until the end of February. And you'll find details of that launch offer in the description below. But don't worry if you're watching this video after February 2021, because for my YouTube followers, there is a special offer also in the description and a coupon code that will allow you to get a substantial discount. So please do check out the links in the description to find out more about our Project Benefits Realization course. It's an exciting new course and a very important one for all project managers. Because if you're the only project manager in your organization who understands benefits management, you are going to be the one that gets picked for the exciting and important projects. And if you're the only project manager in your organization who doesn't understand project benefits management, then what are you going to get picked for? Anyway, I look forward to seeing you inside our new course. In the meantime, please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel 
for more videos like this. And to make sure you don't miss any, please hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.